earth than a humanitarian musician, personally. Because uh, the earth part is the human part, the music part is the discovery part of yourself. But professionally, to make a living career-wise, it would be truck driving, right? That's what I've mastered it to get a certificate to be able to earn a living. Music had always been around as a child, right? When I was a kid in Ghana, you know, my parents bought me one of those little tiny, you know, piano for kids. And for the guy, for the life of me, I just couldn't figure out how to play it. And I see people play music and it's just amazing, but I could just dance and express myself, you know, by putting words together, which is like you would call rapping. But back then, you know, we're talking about early 90s. Nobody really in Ghana really know what rap is to that degree where they think you're just mumbling up words, right? So. <laughs> The music had always been there, but when I came into Canada, the, the group of friends that we have in junior high, we formed a little group, you know, breakdancing. And within that breakdancing, I had a friend that, whose uncle was a DJ, and he had a house full of records. So we would go into the, the house after school to go and learn how to, you know, DJ and rap. So just by doing all that stuff of being around that kind of environment, got me more interested and wanted to express how I felt because remember I'm, I'm, I'm making a transition from one country to another and I'm learning the language and the culture and I've lost a mother and I'm now living with the father and he's got a new life and I'm in a new place and the things that I want to express can only be expressed through music so now I can see both world is great here but I know the people over there are not so great but they have the freedom now these two worlds, both of them are missing something and you want to bridge that gap for both of them to see how they can basically come together. And so music became the avenue for me to express truly how I felt like all the things that I want to say to people that I couldn't say if, the, if I was talking to them. The struggle makes you stronger in, in various ways because you never know how strong you are until you go through struggle. I've lost some of the best people, my mother, you know, I left the whole country, that's a, that's a whole loss. My best friend, I met D, we showed up, we thought we were gonna run the world and create some of the best music, and indeed we were. But then nobody knew the design of what the outcome was gonna be that halfway through the person will pass away out of a heart attack. My kids, <laughs> I don't live with them because of the way my lifestyle is as a musician, so it's a full loss. If I have money, I, I don't put it on my pocket, I make sure that people around me have those things because I can survive off you know, ten dollars a day. Even if I, have, if, if I can pick bottles if I wanted to. I can live in a in, in a in a car. I know what struggle is. I know how it takes not to have. What is this that I'm doing in this particular moment? I'm trying to express myself. So then it puts me in a position of doing whatever I feel like doing. Based on that factor, I look at how I can reach everyone to tell the struggle of these kids, which are my children, because their father is not in their lives, because of the path of my reality and the choices that I made to be here. Then I look at the choices in the relation between my father and I. Then I look at it from the point of view of like, I'm from Ghana, and if my mother was alive, would she be proud of me as a human being? Now all this stuff has to do with the art. I was sleeping in the garage, sleeping in the truck, because the truck has a bed. But remember, I'm on a journey anyways, driving and making music, making a living while also seeing the world and that motivates me to write my music. So that struggle was a peaceful place for me because of the art. The whole purpose of creating the art in the first place is to share. And if you're giving it to the people, they have to be able to relate to it for you to feel confident and comfortable about it. So without the struggle, there is no art in our world that we live in this physicality. I don't think so. It, it, it is 100% yes with it, but on the alternate side of it, we hope that we didn't have to go through any life struggle. So that then becomes the spirituality of the creator, source, God, whatever you want to call it. While you're in this moment, in this physical body, just understand that that struggle is not the end of you. You can put an end to any type of struggle by just changing your direction. And if you redefine yourself through that struggle, you see the beauty and the strength that lies within it. And that's what makes anyone better. Because without you going through that, you, you will not be able to reset yourself to rediscover yourself or grow to the, the stage where you need to be at.